Hello, good morning, class six. I hope you have all seen the previous video of shipwrecked. That is chapter number six. Today we are. This is part two. All of you, those who have not seen, please see part one to understand part two. So this is part two. I'll be reading from page seventy-five, the last paragraph. Please follow it. I plunged into the sea and made for the ship. So. previously we have studied that at last we stopped at he have decided to go to that wrecked ship to carry all the to bring all the accessories that are needed okay to survive in that island so now what now he plunged into the sea and made for the ship so he decided to go towards the ship at last after a hard swim I managed to reach it. So he is telling us that he managed to reach it after a hard swim, and discovered a rope hanging over the side. So he saw that uh, from the broken ship, a rope was hanging at the side. With great great difficulty, I pulled myself up the rope and reached the deck. So he went up to the ship. the storm had damaged everything so the storm was so raging that he had it had damaged everything there there were broken masts and torn sails as you can see these are they, these are all marked you will usually mark it in your book torn sails pieces of ropes all over the ship so what were present so when he reached when he uh, got to the top of the ship he saw there were broken masts uh torn sails pieces of ropes all over the ship why because of the raging storm on uh, all over the ship i went down into the cabins and found an x okay there he found an there he got an s x on uh, deck again i cut the mast and ropes and made myself a small raft a raft is a small flat boat okay a single seater boat so he Uh, with that mast with that ropes he made a raft i managed to get this raft into the sea and tie it to the vessel with a rope i found some of the seamen's boxes on board and filled them with stores so he found some seamen boxes in it and what did he do with it he uh, um he filled with bread rice cheese so that seamen boxes were filled with rice red uh, br- br- rice bread and cheese i also found some clothes which i piled onto the raft i having found a broken oar i cast off from the vessel and started for the shore when i reached the sand i carried the things up onto the dry land so he had already made a he will he will already he will uh, make a tent and there what he will do he will keep all these necessary items the next morning i walked along the shore and up a little hill from there i could see that i was on an island i was a prisoner without a friend in the world so he was all alone in that island there was no one living on the island but wild beasts so who were living with him only wild beasts means wild animals the next day i went back across the sea and brought some more stores from the ship so next day he ek din mein to sare cheeze la nahi sakte so dusre din pe gaya aur saman leke aaya the next day i went back across the sea and um, brought more stores from the ship every day i toiled i brought tools wood a uh, wood rope nails sails clothes sugar flour bread so these are the items that he brought from the ship okay in one of the wooden boxes i found some gold and silver coins the sunshine made them sparkle so in some of the boxes what did he find he find some money there is gold and silver coins which the sunshine made them more sparkling they were chamak raha tha bahut What uses are you to me? I asked. Everyone in the world desires you, but me. So, देखो यहाँ पे तो कुछ भी नहीं है. So there there was nothing. It was all desolate island. So there 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 was no need of any money there. Okay. जो uh, means आम आदमी means उसको पाने के लिए तरसता है और इसको पाके भी इसका कोई use नहीं है अभी. 
किसके पास रॉबिनसन क्रूसो के पास सो वेन आई गॉट बैक टू माई आईलैंड आई नोटिस दैट द स्काई वॉज ब्लैक ग्रेट क्लाउड्स रोल्ड अप फ्रॉम द वेस्ट एंड द रेन पोल टाउन आई सॉ द शेप आउट एट सी राइज एंड देन सिंक बीनी दूज वेव तो it was a very quick action for him that he have taken the decision and uh, took all the uh, things back to the so all the necessary things back to the island because the ship uh, means is sunk now okay is drowned now during the f- next few months i busied myself in making a house with a strong stockade round it stockade is a wall okay jo gherta hai charo se घेरा मीन्स घेरा जाता है चारों ओर से आई यूज वन ऑफ द सेल्स फ्रॉम द शिप ऑफ द रूप आई कट डाउन ट्री ट्रांग्स एंड कैरिड देम टू द हाउस एंड स्लोली बिल्ट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टॉकेट टू कीप आउट वाइल्ड एनिमल्स सो फेंस एक्चुअली स्टॉकेट आर स्टॉकेट्स आर फेंस सो वाई ही हैड मेड द स्टॉकेट्स टू कीप आउट द वाइल्ड एनिमल्स फ्रॉम हिज हार्ट द हाउस दैट ही इज मेकिंग The months passed in uh, passed in hard work, and one day I set out to explore the whole island. The journey took me three days. So the whole island covered करने में उसको कितना समय लगा? तीन दिन तक लग गया. And when I got to the other side of the island, I found a delightful valley. The val there were wild grapes, limes. So he reached onto a valley where they were filled up with that valley was filled up with fruits. limes and i collected a quantity of these and took them back to my house one day one day in the in the forest not far from my house i found some wild goats i picked up a baby goat and carried it home with me in a few days it became quite tame mean hmm. post man gaya wo and after that it never left my side so hamesha uske sath hi wo goat raha After a year or two on the island I decided to make a small boat I chose the wood carefully uh, and cut and walked the timber for many months I made a sail from my one of the canvas I had bought on the shore from the ship and with a good wind and boat sailed well so ek boat bhi usne bana liya I taught myself how to make pots out of mud so these are the several these are some of the things that he means uh, learned staying on that desolate island kya karna hai kya karna hai sara din baithe baithe so usne kafi sare cheeze seekh liya so what are those pots out of mud then how to make them hard durable by burning them i grew of corn and rice and also some wheat i taught myself to make bread make my life on the island was a happy one I had a good house, plenty to eat, plenty to, plenty of work to do. So, उसने bore bore नहीं नहीं feel किया. So हमेशा काम करता रहा. He always did his work. He learned so many things. He even learned making bread, uh, and then making pots out of mud. How how to make those pots hard? How to make the how to uh, means how to make them durable? Okay. So his life in the island was a happy one and he had a good house plenty to eat it's wild forest everywhere there are fruits there are several things to eat and plenty of work to do one day i was walking along the seashore thinking about my home across the seas so he was walking along the coastline when i suddenly looked down there on the sand in front of me was a clear footprint it was not mine but the footprint of another man so there's a twist in the story at the last he was walking down the shore and he sees that there was a footprint of another man then obviously there must be someone in that island so this has been adapted and who has written it it is it has been written by daniel defo in 1660 to 1731 who was born in london and was an english writer journalist and uh, robinson crusoe and mall flanders these are the two legendary works So Defo began his career as a merchant and later wrote many political pieces as a journalist gained popularity around the age of 59 he published Robinson Crusoe his first fiction novel fiction means which is imagination creation of imagine creation from within uh, which became a best seller he produced more than 300 works in his lifetime including fantasy novels his stories have been adapted into many movies and plays over the years 
so this is all about this chapter this is part 2 you will be getting the question answers in the period in a, in your uh, material day class okay have fun great day bye bye